Hey guys, if you're looking for the number one motocross helmet in the world, in my opinion, and I did a ton of research looking for a helmet that was without a doubt the most protective, the most comfortable and style, I don't know. I mean, it looks like for me, any other kind of helmet, but here's what I found. It's the 6D ATR2. The, the reviews, anywhere you look, say that this is the number one helmet in the world for motocross in terms of protection and the technology, what they're doing, they have what's called an omnidirectional suspension, ODS system, that's what they call it. It's kind of a proprietary way that the whole helmet inside, if you, in case of an impact, what happens is the shearing, um, the acceleration, basically it displaces that, it like kind of moves around a little bit. So a lot of the force and the energy dissipates through this, this uh, really cool system. So this is what it comes in. It comes in this beautiful little case here. Nice little helmet carrying case. I don't know, maybe carry a small animal in here. <laughs> so take a look at this guy. Wow, this is pretty, uh, pretty stylish. So uh, protection, comfort and styling. That's what you're looking at. And of course the price, this is, you're gonna find this online for about 650 to 750. I did some research and I found it. I got mine through, I think speed demons or speed addicts. Uh, it was definitely cheaper and it took them four days to send it to me. Uh, so I got this in four days, which is pretty cool. Beautiful helmet. I mean, feels amazing. DOT certified. So looks amazing. One thing I wish that these systems had, and I know it's, it's, um, it's for, th it's whatever, but I mean, I wish I had the quick, the quick, not the quick release, but the, what do you call it? The, when you're able to just one, one shot instead, you got to use two hands without gloves for this. Yeah, it feels pretty good. So these, all these helmets, they come, you, you basically measure your head. You need a, a tape measure. You measure your head and then it tells you exactly which one you want. And the fit is amazing. I feel really good. I have a lot of vision, field of, field of vision here. I think this little guy here turns around. So I, um, yeah, there we go. Basically moves a little bit. So you're able to adjust this guy. There we go. Not that much, but probably more than probably enough. They've also got little holes here if you wanna wear iPods or something. Not that I'll be probably listening to any music. My last helmet that I had was the AGV Sport Modular. It was a super fancy AGV carbon fiber helmet. And that that was a real headache. That probably was a slight bit small for me, but I, you know, I found a really good price on that. It was 200 bucks less than normal. And eventually it fit perfectly. So I'm a big fan of getting them a little tighter initially, the helmet, and then breaking it in rather than having a helmet that's too big because that's not going to be useful at all. All right, so let's talk about all the protection features that this helmet has. So first thing it does, it has a tri composite shell provides superior energy absorption so so basically it'll absorb a lot of the energy on impact because of the tri-composite nature of the design of the shell but one of the things that's amazing about this helmet is their omnidirectional suspension system which basically is designed to imagine the inner shell and the outer shell and they move and it's all designed to dissipate the energy so in case of a sh an accident the shearing forces are mitigated and dissipated in the most effective way possible. So basically this is the inside of the helmet. This is what it looks like. So you have, of course, you start here with a three different the tri-composite outer shell technology. And then on the inside, you have these damper systems. So let's look at, this is the optimized tri-composite shell technology right here. That's the outer layer. Then on the inside, you have the multi-impact EPP outer liner. So I guess this is the uh, second layer of protection. And then you've got number three, progressive EPP damping towers. That's, that's these little things here, which uh, do some more absorption. So I guess here they are, they're all over the place. Number four, these are the low friction discs. Number five is the inner EPS, low friction structural shell. Number six, the replaceable liner. The inner liner comes out, I don't know if you guys know, but I mean, obviously I'll be doing a lot of traveling through, I'm in South America currently, not right now, I'm actually in California. It's been very cold here, but I'm heading back to Medellin tomorrow and I'll be in South America where it's a lot more humid and uh, these helmets can get pretty, pretty skanky and gross if you're not taking good care of them. So we talked about protection. I mean, obviously there's a whole bunch of features here that you guys are now aware of why this this helmet is is number one in terms of protection but also comfort so when it comes to comfort it's not just the materials that are used on the inside but for me it's about lightweight and also breathability okay so if there's no ventilation forget about it i don't even want to think about the helmet because it basically cooks and like i said i'll be in 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 places that are really warm 
Uh, some will be drier, obviously some are gonna be very cold. Generally speaking, I'm gonna be doing a lot of warm weather where it's gonna be hot and I want a, a helmet that's extremely well ventilated. And this one here comes with a, like a gang of ports and they're very well designed. There's a lot of ventilation here. So if you actually put your fingers in here, you can actually touch through and you can see this whole thing is ready to come out. It looks pretty easy to remove all this and this should come out really nice and easily. And then I can wash that through on the washing machine or wash it by hand with. But yeah, I like all of the fact that there's tons of ventilation ports. And from what I read in the reviews, they said that these are all very well designed, very well placed and that the ventilation in this helmet is actually next level. So that's important to me. The other thing is that this helmet only weighs, I think it's like 1,450 grams. If I'm not mistaken, there's three different sizes, so three different weights. And again, when it comes to comfort, you basically just measure your head and then you get the exact perfect helmet. You don't have, there's no guessing. So they've got it all worked out for you. And in fact, here are all the sizes. So there's like, look at all these different sizes here that, that you can look at. So take a quick note. If you're looking to buy this helmet, here are the sizes, take a quick shot. So I'm a medium, I'm 22 and a half inches. So I'm at the lower end of the spectrum. So I got a, a medium sized helmet. Um, and like I said, it fits really nice. Like it, it fits, fits beautifully. The last thing is the style, right? I mean, we're all looking and I would say, yeah, the style is pretty cool. I like the gray. I'm a big fan of gray. So I definitely don't mind the gray and I love the red. But again, like that was pretty much a distant third in terms of what, what mattered to me. And again, the price, yeah, sure. 650 to $750 is a lot of money. But again, we're talking about your brain you're protecting the most important part of your body. And so I think in that respect, there's, uh, you shouldn't really compromise. Protection is next level. And the fact that it is one of the lightest weight motocross helmets on the market, uh, that for me was a no brainer. That's why I went with this helmet. So I hope you, uh, you guys uh, got some information. I hope it made you think a little bit about maybe the helmet that you wanna get next time. Um, got a lot of other videos here. If you're a KTM 1290 rider or an adventure motorcycle rider, you know, definitely subscribe to the channel so you can join me on the journey uh, through South America and see all the chaos and mayhem I get myself into because there's one thing, my middle name is Trouble and uh, it doesn't, definitely doesn't have a hard time finding me. So hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys out there.